Enterprise Energy, a company based in Singapore, has signed an agreement for the construction of a massive $10 billion wind farm off Ireland's coast for powering a new green hydrogen plant. Clean H2 is produced through electrolysis, that is powered by renewable energy such as wind. Green hydrogen is viewed as a cleaner alternative to H2 made using natural gas, even when carbon capture and storage is used to remove some of the greenhouse gas emissions. H2 is used for industries, such as chemicals and steel, among others. Energy majors from BP PLC to Equinor ASA have been placing a focus on developing and employing the technology. Europe has established a 6 gigawatt goal for installed clean H2 by 2024, which will rise to 50 gigawatts by 2030. The Enterprise Energy Private 4 gigawatt wind farm will supply the electricity required for producing the H2 to be consumed in Ireland or that will be converted into ammonia, which will make it possible to export it," said Ian Hatton, Enterprise Energy's chief executive officer. We see Europe as being a net consumer of green hydrogen, said Hatton. Our overall model is about developing production of green hydrogen, in locations where the natural resources are going to give you the lowest cost, and then bring it into the market, so Ireland, to us, is a key hub in that strategy. Enterprise, has stated that it will not be pursuing a subsidy for the wind farm powering the green hydrogen. Instead, Enterprise will be raising the money it needs for this project, by way of financing that Societe Generale SA arranged on its behalf, in addition to private equity investment, explained Hatton. The huge offshore wind farm project, will generate enough electricity to power a 4 gigawatt Irish green hydrogen facility. That facility is in development by EIH2, and Zenith Energy Limited. It is called Green Marlin, which could begin producing H2 as early as 2026. The energy companies have already signed a precursor to a power purchase agreement, with EIH2 off taking the generated power. The offshore wind turbine farm will employ articulated wind columns, as well as the same type of deepwater tech, used by gas and oil industries for production platform exploration. Enterprise has inked deals with Sapora Energy Berhad, a gas and oil development company, as well as Offshore Design Engineering Limited, a foundation supplier. The latter will supply the project's wind columns. Thank you for picking hydrogenfuelnews.com. Don't miss your free access to our exclusive ebook, just sign up today. Follow this story and more on HFN.